Hello all, Collector Man here, with an entry in the awesome and incredibly talented Anthrochromantic Fiends 300 subscriber contest. Congratulations on that milestone, it's well deserved, and I just want to say that you have been a really great friend and supporter of mine, and I thank you for that. There are four questions uh, that go along with this contest, and the first of which is your favorite vampire character from any media and why. This one was a hard one, but I have to go with my childhood on this one. And that is Grandpa Munster from the Munsters. I grew up watching the Munsters on Nick at Night, uh, late night Nickelodeon, uh, when they would show the Munsters and the Addams Family and bewitched and you know all those old shows and I grew um, an affinity for Al Lewis's performance as uh, Grandpa Munster. He is a mad scientist vampire uh, who concocts uh, potions down in his basement laboratory and most of the time they don't go well. Um, he exhibits some of the classic uh, vampire stuff. He's stylishly dressed and um, of course he gives a co comedic performance because it is a a sitcom but there are some moments where he is intense and he's always yelling at Herman and um, he has his bat Igor and um, I just think he's really cool uh, you know not a scary uh, portrayal of a vampire character but a fun one, and it's in black and white, so it's in rem uh, it's reminiscent of the old uh, Universal horror um, films. Question two is favorite zombie movie and why, and that is 1985's Return of the Living Dead. I love this movie. It is a horror comedy, and I love the mix of horror and comedy. Uh, the cast in this is excellent. You have James Karen, you have Don Calfa, you have um, Tom Matthews, Linnea Quigley, um, Clue Gulliger is in here as well. And the chemistry between all of the actors is, is really good, especially between James Karen and uh, Tom Matthews near the beginning of the film and uh, really throughout the entire film. Um, also the makeup effects are very well done for this uh, period um, of Hollywood. Uh, they all have their own distinct look, uh, particularly uh, one that I like in particular is Tar Man, um, uh, who corners two people um, in, in a warehouse basement or some, something of that nature and he's very thin, he's basically a skeleton zombie and they, I just thought they were very creative with uh, the zombie styles in this movie and they are slow moving for the most part um, in the style of George A. Romero's uh, zombie films and also the music is really well done in this um, it did came out, come out in 1985 so it has some 80s music that I really like, and uh, just the uh, the opening theme score is To Die For. I really enjoy that. And uh, the bleak ending, uh, which I won't spoil for anyone who hasn't seen this, but the bleak ending, um, I really do like as well. Question three. Favorite movie that has nothing to do with horror, and that is 1986's Labyrinth. It is an 80's musical fantasy, it's George Lucas, it's Jennifer Connelly, it's Jim Henson, it's David Bowie. Um, I could really stop there to justify it, but I do have more to say about it. Um, no matter how many times I see this movie, I never see the characters as puppets. They're very well done. Uh, the Jim Henson creature shop wizardry, um, you, you, you could just be in awe of it. Uh, the lands and the creatures that they're able to create and like I said how lifelike they become and they really perfected that one uh, labyrinth uh, Dark Crystal is actually one that I enjoy as well but 
Um, in terms of the puppetry, I think um, Labyrinth is, w in film form, I think uh, Labyrinth is where Jim and company really hit uh, the sweet spot. And this movie, of course, the music, uh, David Bowie uh, provides the songs for the movie, and they are very well done. He didn't drop the ball just because it was a family film. He brought his A-game, and he wrote songs that went along with the flow of the film and the scenes that uh, they were appearing in. Um, the... Sets are amazing in this movie. A lot of work went into those sets, uh, the expansive sets in the labyrinth, as well as uh, the Bog of Eternal Stench, which um, actually stunk very bad on set because they did not drain it. It was there the entire time, and um, it actually turned into a Bog of Eternal Stench. And this movie made me into a huge fan of David Bowie. Um, after I saw this, I went out and searched for his music and his other stuff, and I really enjoyed it so it made me a Bowie fan for life. I was able to see him uh, three times live and that's all thanks to this movie. Um, also in regards to the sets, uh, the MC Escher type staircase set was very cool and it must have been very uh, disorienting to work on. Question four is favorite band or musician. Um, my favorite musician is David Bowie, but my favorite band is The Birthday Massacre. I love The Birthday Massacre. Um, all of their album cover art has a purple theme to it, and uh, the bunny ears. The bunny uh, sort of became their mascot after fans started showing up to their live shows wearing uh, bunny ears. Uh, they've been around for over 20 years now, and they are a Canadian band, and all the band members seem to be really cool. Um, I've seen interview interviews with uh, the band members, or just uh, Rainbow and Chibi. Uh, Chibi is the front woman and vocalist, and uh, she is amazing. She gives amazing live performances. Sadly, I have not seen them live yet, but I hope that will change in the near future. Uh, when I hear their music, uh, it brings up uh, dark fantasy imagery to mind. Um, if they ever did a soundtrack for a dark fantasy film somewhere in the lines of um, Guillermo del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth, I think I would faint because um, that would just be uh, really, really uh, awesome. And they are categorized as goth rock or dark wave. But they have their very uh, own distinct sound to them, running through all of their albums, and it's really cool. It has that 80s inflection that I really like, and um, all their albums, uh, the songs on their albums flow really well with each other. And uh, really, you can just put on any song by The Birthday Massacre, uh, and it's my jam. And just to wrap this up, uh, that is the final question, uh, Martin, thank you for putting on this contest, and for all of your support and for just being you, you're awesome. Um, everyone stay safe and healthy and if you are not familiar with Anthropomantic Fiend I will be leaving the link to his channel in the description. Please go check it out and subscribe and thank you once again. But before I go I just want to interject that uh, since we're talking about music I do have a music I love playlist uh, on my channel if anyone's interested in checking that out. There's some uh, Bowie on there, there's some Birthday Massacre, there's some uh, stuff that uh, Martin has, uh, Anthropomantic Fiend has shown me, uh, recommended uh, Theater of the Vampires, I've been getting into them. Uh, so yeah, if you like music, check it out.